Welcome back, good afternoon. Last year, a mock-up for the new tube trains which will be running on the Piccadilly line from 2025 was shown at the new Siemens factory in East Yorkshire and Gaul. And this is a very fascinating subject because these trains will make journeys on the Piccadilly line more modern and more comfortable and bring features that have never been seen before on any deep level tube line. So here is everything you need to know about the NTFL, the new tube for London, which is being built right now. So let's start by looking at the interior design. These new trains will have very unique features to deep level tube trains, including fully walk through carriages, air conditioning, which will make traveling on the Piccadilly line cooler in the summer, and even lights on the top of the train's door frames, which indicate when the doors are closing. The new maquette pattern, which will feature different Piccadilly line stations in the pattern, will replace the old barman maquette. A big improvement is that these trains have accessibility in mind, with the space for wheelchair users, which can also be used by buggy users. These trains will also enable better access from the platform to the train. The trains will also have fold-up seats, which can be used for when people have large luggage, which happens a lot on the Piccadilly line, considering it takes passengers to the Heathrow terminals, as well as bicycle users, to maximise capacity on the train. And there are also some very cool grab poles. And of course, these new trains will have very modern passenger information displays. These will be nine car trains with the maximum speed 100 km per hour and will have 10% more capacity than the previous stock, as well as consume 20% less energy, increase the number of trains per hour in peak times from 24 to 27 and have a very futuristic exterior with display boards, as well as this very cool front of the train design. Recently, a couple of these trains have been spotted in Germany, heading to a test track in a former RAF base, which has been converted for testing trains. I feel like I've accidentally stepped into a time machine looking at these mind-blowing tube trains, so it's time to be brought back to the present day. So I hope that you learned all you wanted to know about these new tube trains that will be coming into service in two years time. I'm very excited. Uh, now, if you wanted to see videos from people who did go on the press trip, I've put some links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Press subscribe and like. Have a good day. Bye.